And we're back with some more oxygen not included. And today on our uh, achievement challenge, we're still really short on carnivore. We have uh, 88,000 calories of 400,000 calories, and we have 21 cycles to get the remaining three, 312,000 calories. Yeah, it, it's going to be rough, but we have a lot of incubators up. We just need about a minimum of eight more. And why is that empty? Is it, please tell me there's another egg that needs to go in there. No, no, actually, we're fine for the minute. Okay, we'll leave you on stone hatches for now. Uh, but we're still going to need to put in more incubators over here, and we do have some pip eggs I would like to start hatching as well, but we're, we're sticking with the hatchlings first, namely because hatches give more meat than pips. But once we have enough incubators up, we're going to be incubating everything we can. Oh, and down here I'm finally putting in a light by the rock crusher. I probably should have done that a long time ago, but, you know, you, you forget things now and then. Yeah, but... With that started over there, we are going to go up over here and continue on our incubatorium thingy. Oh, and back on Contrilia over here, we are adding in barbecue for their uh, their meals. They're also eating meat over here. They're helping us out. Now, what I'm doing is basically just finding the odd critter around the place and wiping them out. I think we've killed all the ones down here. Yeah, it's going to be over to... where is it? Yeah, these Sweetles. But I'm going to try and cull out the Sweetles by the oldest first and leave at least a few for later. I'm also making sure we gain access to uh, the last of them. There's, a, there's actually ones that died over there and dropped some meat. We're going to grab that. So it's basically get as much meat as we can into everyone. Now, there have been some suggestions that we should change the consumables. Uh, make it so that people can't eat anything but barbecue and fish. But that, well, that doesn't really make a difference to be honest because the only things they'll eat are the highest things on the list. Uh, for example... If dupes have a choice between frost buns or any or paku fillet or omelets and anything in this list, they'll go for the ones up here. They always go for the highest quality foods first. So they seem to gravitate towards this end of it. So if we check under our foods here, you'll notice uh, we've got pickled meal, meal lice, we've got some cooked fish and meat, but they'll go for the cooked fish first. Well, that's what I've seen so far, but we'll keep an eye on it just in case, just in case. All right, uh, construction people, you, you want to get on this? At the same time, we're going to get rid of a whole bunch of our meal wood. We've, we've got calories coming in from meat now, so we just don't want to be wasting the labor on this. That's, we'll leave in these here and here just so we have some backups, but I'm thinking, yeah, it's going to be mostly meat all the way from now on in. Uh, get in there and get me some more incubators as quickly as you can. It's after lunch and we can see that, yep, the only thing left is the cooked fish. 1,600 calories of this stuff. Everything else got eaten. And we've got some more paku fillet along the way. All right, all right, come on, get this finished. I feel like this has been, we've been trying to build this for ages and they just can't get it completed. Oh, at the same time, I might want to make this a priority. I want to have the ladder from down the uh, the cook area access to up here because there's going to be critters hopping out here that we're going to be slaughtering and the meat's going to need to be brought down to the kitchen. Also, how are we doing on this front over here? Any, oh, there's some more barbecue. Sometimes the barbecue tries to run around the place. We need to keep an eye out for those. Uh, the sooner we can get our hands on them, the better. Well, we got this online just about in time, uh, though we're going to need more of this. Uh, give me another priority sixes over here, and you can all go back up to priority fives. We need more, uh, more incubators everywhere. In fact, you know what? We'll queue up some more over, I'm thinking about there. Yeah, one there, one there. Do we have enough uh, refined metal? Where is our copper? Yeah, we got 1,400 kilos of copper. In fact, someone should be working flat out of that. Yeah, Sexy is pounding away on the copper machine. Let's see what their machinery is at. 14? Yeah, perfect. We'll, le we'll let him go. Let him keep up with that. We have finally hit a point we probably should have hit a while back. All our ranches are full. So 7 of 7, 7 of 7, 7 of 7, and this one down here is also 7 of 7. That means all of the critters that now pop out of these are immediately food grade. And the thing is, we can't just let these eggs hatch naturally. We've, we've left it too late. It takes 20 cycles for these eggs to hatch. And normally we just dump 20 eggs, all the eggs into uh, some water and let them evolve naturally. Unfortunately, we can't wait that long. We need the food now. So we're going to remove you and keep an attack. Now the thing is, I don't know how much stone hatchlings fight back. And the stone hatches are pretty tough. So, yeah, Millington, you might be getting a bit of a... Is it fighting back? Oh my god, those things are tough. Uh, no, Millington's pretty good. In fact, ooh, I think it's time we called in maybe some reinforcements as well. I might want to do a few changes to... Well, priorities. Let's see. 
Yeah, Zap, you can help out. Who else has got decent strength? No, we need the ranchers on some other stuff. We've got several people lined up to help out. Uh, let's see if we can't make this end quickly. Yeah, the more the more DACA we bring to this uh, the problem, I think the faster we can get these things done. All right then. Then we just need to stock these up with more eggs, and we should be good to go. All right, over here, how are we looking? God, those ranchers are going to be working flat out. I'm just thinking we have so many incubators and so many ranches. Do we do we have enough to keep everything running? I, I, I've been trying to work out the calorie consumption we're going to need, and it's just, it's off the charts. Uh, oh, also, maybe uh, take out those fish as well while you're at it. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of them in there. I just need one Paku. Never mind. I'm sure there'll be more along in a bit. And what did you drop down there? Please tell me it wasn't meat. You dropped meat. Come on. Seriously, guys. Gotta stay on top of these things. And egg-wise, I think what we'll do is, I think for the next few hatchet uh, incubators, we'll start showing in the pip eggs. We definitely have more than a few pip eggs we could start ranching. They're only worth half the uh, they're only worth half the calories of hatch eggs, but all the eggs from these things over here get sent over to this section. We just have a, an automatic dispenser. Though if we do this right, we should never end up with any eggs inside the hatcheries. All the eggs should immediately be whisked away to incubators. Uh, you are incubating, but Hmm. Yeah, we'll give you reset the timer on that. I want that one. That one does not actually lullabied yet. We may need to actually get more ranchers at this rate now that I think about it. Eh, too late for that, actually. Way, way, way too late. While this is going on, we have 5,900 calories of barbecue, 3,200 calories of cooked fish, and Contrilia is 6,133 calories of barbecue. Seriously, what's taking you so long to eat all that stuff? Guys, come on. Yeah, you're letting the team down. Uh, in terms of colony summary, what are we looking at? We have consumed 114,000 calories of meat, and yeah, we're, we're, we got 19 cycles left. We're cutting it very, very close. I'm, I'm not sure we can make it, to be honest. I've, I've been trying to do the numbers on how many eggs we can get out of these, and how many hatches it'll give us, and how much meat that will give us. And even if all four of these were didn't have juveniles right now that weren't reproducing, um we still wouldn't be producing enough calories to produce the amount we need. So we're kind of depending on the fish to supplement that, and the fish are going to age out in a bit. As in, that fish is 19 years of age. Once they hit 25, they'll, well, they'll, they'll fall over. That one's going to be dead in four years. They're already, you know, classified as, actually, they're elderly. Not, not quite elderly yet. Why are you dumb? What? what? You, you can't be dumb. There's mealweed seeds there for you. God damn it. I'm not sure what's going on here, but... They... Uh, I'm going to try sweeping out the polluted dirt. I've tried changing this feed to algae, but they still won't eat. Have they been like this the whole time? Because if they've been like this the whole time... Uh, you know what? I'm thinking we need a couple of fish. Yeah, when are you going to be done? Uh, incubation 84%. Oh, someone missed a timer on you, or you're very new. Uh, I think we'll reset the timer there. One... Two, three, there you go. Bannert? No. Nope, nope, nope. I should hug that. What the hell are you doing? Branching supply. Fine. I'll worry about it in a minute. Let's see what the, uh, the gate has got for us. You know, you know that bit where I said maybe we could do with another rancher, but no, it's too late for that now? Well, I mean, come on. I I'm going to go with Martinez Martin Sittick. That, that's that's my best pronunciation, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, but that's another rancher on the team, which brings us up to 11 dupes, which is... Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. They're uncultured, uh, germ-resistant, and unempathetic. Wow, they would actually fit in in a RimWorld playthrough. Stress e reaction binge eater. That's excellent. And overjoyed response is super productive. Well, uh, welcome to the team. Now, let's just set up your uh, schedules, your priorities, all that. Now, we won't be able to use them as a rancher until they get their skills up one point and we can put them into critter ranching. In the meantime, they can just help out with build digging. I would put them on something else, but uh, well, they just don't have the skills to carry things. Everyone else pretty much has a point or two in improved carry so that they can help out moving stuff about the place. And I don't want Martinez m messing that up because if they start carrying stuff around the place, they don't have any of those bonuses and they'll just be carrying around very, very small amounts. So priorities wise, yeah, just uh, build dig. You'll be like carrying much of the building you're digging and ranching if you can help out. Though, yeah, you're probably going to try carrying stuff to those ugh, fitter feeders. Nothing much we can do about that. Worry about that later. For now, I think we're a little bit good for the moment, but I'm thinking, yeah, we need fish. 
So yeah, give me a fry egg in here. We're going to incubate that, and then we're going to make sure that everything gets dumped into this section. Yeah, I'm thinking here. And then once we, we'll basically start adding fish in here and culling out those two, which seem to have been doing nothing this whole time. Uh, and we'll eventually consolidate all the fish in here. Now the reason I'm consolidating all the fish in here and I couldn't do that before is, initially to tame these, we had to feed them algae. If you try feeding them seeds, it just doesn't work. It's something to do with the seeds are too slow or something. I don't know, you can't tame them with seeds really. Or you can, but it takes a long time. Algae was much faster. And then once they were tamed, we can switch them over to the seeds because the seeds, they eat much slow, more slowly. It takes them, they only eat a third of a seed a day, which means one seed will feed them for three days or one seed can feed three fish for a day, whatever way you want to look at it. So that's why they were, and they were put into batches of two because if you put in like three or four, when you turned on the algae machine, they'd, they'd all just keep one of them, one or two of them would hog it and the other two wouldn't get a taste. So you can't, couldn't really put in more than two. But now that we're starting to... Well, now that we've got them all tamed, we can just dump them all into one section, give them access to seeds, and they should be quite happy. Well, that's the theory. All right, uh, did you, did you just miss that? You, you totally missed that. Fine, we'll reset the timer again. I'm going to have to start going around and making sure they grab all of these. Why? What are you freaking doing? You're going to sink to eggs. No, 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 no. Uh, did I not put these on nine? I didn't put these on nine. That is my bad. That is my bad. Much better. Okay, that would explain why they weren't getting a lullaby. Now, is there anything popped? Okay, let's see what's going on in here. We've got... Yeah, we can throw a stone hatching egg in there. And over here... Come on. We, we need more. We need more of these up and running. As soon as possible, if you don't mind. Uh, lullaby. Incubating. No. Reset timer. Oh, well, we we're almost on top of that. Incubating. Why are you not lullaby you should be... Ch oh, you're just coming around to it. These things work actually pretty damn well. Okay, you lose a few seconds here and there, but I think this is pretty good. Good job, Leonard. In fact, what's your skill going up to? Your skill in husbandry is level 5. Wow, you're going to have to hug a lot of eggs. Just so many. We have started tucking into the pip eggs as well. We've actually got enough incubators now that we can take it, tuck into that backlog. And right now, we have 12,000 calories of barbecue, 9,600 calories of cooked fish, which is... More than enough to feed everyone. Like we'll like everyone is on ravenous hunger, so they both eat two. Oh, they all eat two thousand calories per cycle. So that means that's eighteen. What is it? Yeah, eighteen thousand calories a cycle right now, which we can actually cover. Meaning, hmm, if we can keep at this pace, can we make it? Assuming it's just this side of the colony. According to my calculator, if we can produce eighteen thousand calories of meat per cycle and keep everyone fed with just that, we'll produce, we'll consume three hundred and six thousand calories in the next seventeen cycles. So yes, but that's assuming we can keep the fish flowing because the fish are the only thing that are keeping us in enough calories. And some of these are starting to age out. What are you at? You're a 10, you're a 22, you're a 21 and 21, and you're a 21 and 23, and... God damn it. Mm. Oh, and if you're wondering why I didn't move these fish into there, we can't. To trap fish and move them, you actually need... Where is it? Ah, fish traps. They cause plastic. We don't have access to plastic or oil or Drecos. We won't get plastic until we get to another planet. And when I say get to another planet, we're going to need a rocket to get to that planet. Not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Oh. That's something I should really do. I've been meaning to get around to this for a while. It's just, well, we've had a lot of things going on. Uh, no, I don't want that minute of aluminum ore. I want a minute of copper ore, which is more plentiful. I want to put our, change over our main power grid down here. Was it, yeah, our centralized power grid. I want to change that over to running off our uh, our main power over here. The only reason it, I've been so long about getting to it, I wanted to get those incubators up. I needed to have enough calories coming in. Actually, the pips might put us over the line on those calorie counts. Hmm. Hmm, you know what? Not gonna worry about it. I think we're in a good place right now. We'll just hook up this uh, power. I'll have to do some... Oh, yeah, this is gonna require some jigging stuff around. I really just threw this stuff in way too fast without thinking about the consequences. Almost finished hooking, finished hooking up the power. Now, trust me, this, this will make sense once it's done, sort of. Actually, yeah, we can hook that up like that. Even though it turns red, it should be fine. Uh, though we do have a printing pod activation, and I don't think there's anything too interesting here. Yeah, double checking. I don't really... Like, an anemic? Oh, hell no. And then we've got medicine and machinery. No one really cares about medicine, so yeah, care package. Yeah, we'll just take the, the sandstone, which we don't need. Uh, all right, are you finally gonna, gonna finish this? It takes a little bit of a while, but... Uh, there's all... 
every time I tell people to wipe out some of the uh, the barbecue, this uh, causes all of those people to go running around and every single one of them just converge on points. So it kind of interrupts the construction because that's their main job, is the construction. Now, uh, with that done, we can deconstruct that there. In fact, we can deconstruct... No, no, I don't know what that was, but that was not what I intended. There we go. So we deconstruct those. With all the other wires removed, what we can do is we can plug that into there. Uh, that means that is now powering our central grid. That is now powering that. And that should mean we don't need anyone to run on the... Ah, damn it. Did I kick it over? Yeah, we shouldn't need anyone to run on the manual generators anymore. Uh, this is going to mean that this generator will no longer be necessary, which means... Well, all the hydrogen should back up and eventually start overflowing up here and going into this tank and then burned off as necessary. Now, I know we've got loads of excess power here, but we're going to be spending more of that later. So this is more of an investment in the future. We're going to need to do our metal refining as well and getting our hands on some steel. Uh, the steel is going to be an interesting uh, attempt. But down here, what are we looking at? Yeah, I think we're good. And how much meat and cooked fish have we got? Ooh. Yeah, we need more barbecue immediately. We don't have 20,000 calories for our next eating schedule. Uh, any critters around anywhere? Oh, oh, I see ya. No getting away, buddy. Uh, anything else? I think that's all of the available calories, but hopefully we can get up to 20,000 calories for this round. Uh, we've got a couple of incubators over here. You know what? I think, oh, stone hatchling egg. Yes, we will take it. Huh. What are you set up to do? Hatchling eggs. Okay, this is going to be a lot of me micromanaging, trying to make sure that we get every single last calorie we can out of this. Because we need to. We can't mess up anymore. Oh, yeah, more calories. Perfect. Then, uh, now that the main power grid is sorted, we'll just add on some more incubators. And then once we've added on those incubators, I think our next step after that will be more incubators. Oh, and there's some barbecue running around, but I think we're good for... N Actually, no, we're not good for now. Just, I hate doing this on just a single... Mm. Have we have we literally run out of those? Um, no, we've got two of them trapped in there. So you know what? So long as they're trapped in there, we can get rid of that one. We don't need it. Uh, any fish? Yet yeah, we can take you as well. And, oh, would you look at that? We've got some more barbecue there too. It's just there's barbecue everywhere these days. It's, it's like a barbecue apocalypse. Uh, it's almost like we've been planning this and now we're kind of surprised by the sheer quantity of barbecue that's showing up. You can also be added to this stockpile. So what are we at? Right now we're at... Fourteen and a half thousand barbecue and, well, almost zero fish. After some industrious work by our cook, we're up to, what is it, eighteen and a half thousand calories of barbecue, 1.6 uh, fish, and we've still got plenty of placu fillet and meat inside the actual cooker. That doesn't count or it doesn't show up here once it's inside the machine, so ooh, 22,000 calories of barbecue, we are good to go. We're just trying to keep it about 20,000 calories of at all times of meat lying around the place. Oh, that reminds me, i got to check back here. How much you got? You've got... Oh, you've gone through your barbecue. Uh, we need to get you some more meat. And we did open up this place up here. So let's see what they got available. You are 32. No, 50. Oh, bye-bye. And you are 22. And you are 19. Damn it. Got to find some more. We've got 55. And toasty. We, we'll leave it at that. We'll come back uh, tomorrow and add a couple of more on. But they're actually helping us out quite nicely. The extra 4,000 calories a day they're consuming is really just putting us over the top. What are we, what are we looking at right about now? We're up to 216,000 calories. And we've still got 14 cycles remaining. So we've got 14 cycles to 2,000 calories. 200,000 calories. I think they got this. I, I really do. So because this area is, is about to run into water, we've decided to put the next set of incubators down here. This should be fine. Actually, how is our gas pressure looking? Ooh, oxygen is... Let's get into 1.2 kilos in here. I, the problem is we actually have 11 duplicates, but we're only, which will consume 1.1 kilos of oxygen. We're only producing one kilo of oxygen. So we're slowly sort of eating through our backlog of oxygen, and that's going to cause the gases at the bottom of our base to start rising up. But I'm not willing to put in another electrolyzer just yet. We could start siphoning oxygen out of this, but that would take us away from building more incubators. And we kind of want to keep building more incubators. Uh, you. We want to reset the timer on you. Someone needs to come along and start hugging those eggs. Actually, do we pick a bad time for this? That's nah, fine. Oh, and make sure the priorities are set. Yep, they're all on priority nine. That's the way we like it. Okay, that's one hugging. 
Oh, wow, there's actually two of them coming around to the hugging today. And finally, one more. Yeah, you, you can squeeze that in. Perfect. I'm trying not to have more than four of these active at a time. And I'm sort of just randomly turning these on as needs be. So that could happen, but I'll keep an eye on it. If anything goes wrong, we'll sort it. Uh, Calorie-wise... Oh, come on, guys. We've got seven, we've got 8,000 calories worth of barbecue and cooked fish, or 18,000 calories, which is enough. But we need more. Do I need to start... Oh, yep, there's, there's another 4,000 calories of barbecue right there. Yeah, but that's going to interrupt. That that stops everyone building and they all run off to do a little bit of a, a mass killing over there. Annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll get this sorted and then we'll probably put in a fourth one. Jesus, we need so many incubators. Well, these ones are not quite needed yet, but I'm keeping them open so that we don't mess up. I, I was going to just throw in the pip eggs, but you know what? We can wait another minute or two. Uh, down here, we're slowly replacing our fish. Uh, we're up to, what? we got three Paku in that. One of them, of course, is... Okay, Paku Fry, Paku Fry... Oh, wait, are they all kids now? And uh, then we've got one regular Paku over here. So, oh, yeah, this is going to eat into our calorie production. But, no, no, we got three... So we got four fish now, and this, this pool is big enough to support eight fish. So this one is being lullabied. That will bring us right back up to five. Um, Yeah, five, then six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's fine. We just got to... Keep plugging away. Gotta keep plugging away. Before they can get this finished, we've got another gate activation, and I really don't... Ooh! I mean, be rude not to take the calories. I mean, I think we've got it, but... Hmm. Okay, are any of you actually worthwhile? The thing is, like, hard digging is a great trait to start with, but they don't actually have a skill in digging, so... It, it just seems like their traits are counteracting their other abilities. It just seems kind of pointless. We've got a green thumb agriculturist over here, but they don't actually have a skill in doctoring, so why would you take them? Let's use this with a, a doctor decorating researcher, you know, an art student. We're fine. We'll just take the barbecue. The barbecue can be added. Actually, how many calories have we got? We already had like 20,000 calories worth of barbecue, so it's not like it's a huge addition, but it, it will come in useful and help put us over the top, I think. Uh, any critters? Uh, no, there's no, no fresh barbecue in any of our incubators. And according to this, oh, there's a stone hatch egg. How do we not have a free incubator looking for more of those? You know what? It's fine. We'll just uh, hook you up there. Um, have I actually changed those over to the... Yeah, I have. So, once the new egg is in, we'll hook that up and we'll reset the timer on it. A lot of manual labor right about now. Well, that's that's a lot of incubators. We have, like, just so many incubators. I knew we were going to need a lot of incubators. I just wasn't sure. That, like, just this is so many incubators. How many have we got? Well, that's 18 right there. So, we've got 18 incubators over there. Then we got 19, 20 over here. 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30 incubators. Is 30 enough? I feel like 30 should be enough. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, a whole bunch of Paku. We can grab those. Also, as well as that, it was getting so overcrowded down here in the fridges that I had to separate this out. Now we've got one fridge specifically for all the pickled meal that we're not using, and then we've got another fridge just for the barbecue and, well, everything else. So barbecue, even the lettuce. We could make some surf and turf, but for that we need natural gas, and we don't have any natural gas to make surf and turf. Yeah, you need to, yeah, uh, where is it, the cooking station? Ah, we have not actually researched that. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's the, yep, yeah, the gourmet meal preparation. Well, that's not going to be happening anytime soon, but we theoretically could have got some of that. We could have even got a few frost burgers, maybe. But, no, that was not to be. All right, let's see what else we can... Actually, let's check the colony... No, we'll give it one more cycle, then we'll check the colony somewhere. I gotta stop looking all the time, and... Oh, some barbecues trying to get away. No, thank you. That leaves us with regular hatch, stone hatch, and regular hatch. I think... I think we're good. I think we're stable for now, and we've got enough calories coming in that we can keep everyone stuffed full of meat and fish. Nice. All right, and over here on Contrilli, I think we can stop them on the barbecue after this round. Yeah, this guy here, he's going to chug down. So Brendan is going to come down and chow into the barbecue. There's 2,600 calories left, and I'm betting they're going to eat about 2,000 out or 1,900. And what do you got? You have reduced the barbecue to 132 calories. All right, I think they have contributed enough. We have called this population... Quite heavily. There's a few left, but I don't think we need any more. I think we've got enough back home. If worst comes to worst, we can always call a few more in the last few cycles. But I'm thinking you guys can go back to consuming anything you want. While all of this is going on, we still have some mealwood going. I know I shouldn't really, but I kind of want to keep the seeds being generated so we can make sure to feed the fish. We, we're, we've got an excess of them, but I'm worried that when we are finished with all of this barbecue, we're going to have to stop. The reason being, we're, we're literally eating through all the rock on this asteroid. 
We've got 32 tons of sedimentary rock left. After that, mm, well, we could start eating into the granite and the igneous rock. I just prefer to not go entirely on barbecue. We'll keep at least a couple of ranches running, plus we're going to need to uh, migrate over a few. Oh, where is it? We need... We haven't actually got any metal hatches. Uh, where is it? Give me this one. Smooth hatchlings. No smooth hatchling eggs have dropped yet, but I assume at some point in the future a few will. And we just need at least one. We could, we're going to need to, them for the, an achievement. There's an achievement where... Oh, one second. Got to acquire some more barbecue. There's an achievement involving refining a bunch of metal using smooth hatches, so we're going to have to use a few of them. Uh, down here, our fish, we are up to... What? One, two, three, four, five... Or four babies and one regular, and we will have a fifth baby along shortly, at which point one of these should hatch or become an adult. Just, uh, yeah, this is going to eat a little bit into our, our meat production, but it's fine. We've got 22,000 calories of barbecue, 3,000 calories of paku, and I'm sure there will be some more meat along in about, oh, I don't know, a minute or two? Well, all our construction is complete. I am not adding any more incubators. 30 is, is enough. Uh, what we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to separate our power grid. And uh, let's see... We're going to run a power wire all the way up through here. Uh, we're probably going to want to... You know what, that's high enough. And then we'll sort of split these off from each other so that they don't interfere. Uh, let me think about how we're going to manage that, though. All right, that looks a little bit more normal. I swear, it will. And now we just got to add in another transformer up here. We can, we can squeeze in another one just about there. It'll be fine we got to start planning ahead here. We're going to assume that we're going to get enough calories out of all the uh, little things we've been doing. Yep. More calories. Add them to the pile. The plan is fairly simple. I mean, reasonably simple. Uh, this line over here is going to take over running our power generation hydrogen thingy. What's it? Then we're going to disconnect the previous one that was running it and use that. Come on. Yeah, we're going to use that one there to hook up oh, like that. So now we have... Oh, cancel you. Now we have these two wires running down through here. If we disconnect those, say that one there, and... Oh. Hmm. Sorry, we're going to have to disconnect some things for a second. But the plan should be, we disconnect these two from there, and then we run these two through here. What should happen is we end up with two separate power grids, a left side and a right side. And then we can start adding a few more things onto our grid. There we go. Come on. Someone, someone put that in before the power goes. I'm pretty sure there's some batteries on this side. Oh, there is no batteries on that side, is there? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, we haven't hooked it up. It's fine. Yes. Nope, nope. No, it's grand. Once they've got that in place, we've got this wire going down here that is now plugged into a transformer, and so we can start splitting the grid. All we do is disconnect that wire there and that wire there. There we go. Then, done, and done. Perfect. So now the water sieve, the rock crusher, the pump that fuels all of this stuff over here, and what is it, and the door over there, all of those are powered off this side. So we can add a few more things onto this side of the grid because it should be well underpowered. Potential power to consume 1.48. Well, okay, there's the, a few other devices here and there, but nothing too major. So then what we do is we can come down here to the bottom and we can make a few changes. And uh, namely what I want to do is come down here. Uh, we, do we care about that tree anymore? You know what, we'll leave the tree there. And then we can go under oxygen, and we can start using the rust deoxidizer. Uh, oh, no, we can't put that there, can we? Fine, we'll put it right there. Now, the reason for the rust deoxidizer, and if I could draw cables in a straight line, much better. Uh, the reason for the rust deoxidizer is this will allow us to use the rust we picked up down here. There's not a lot of it, but we'll be able to turn that rust into oxygen, with it combined with a bit of salt, which we have loads of, and that will help oxygen at the bottom of our base, which should tide us over just until a little bit later when we get another oxygen... Uh, self-powered oxygen maker. We're running a little bit shy at the moment. But at the same time, we'll also drop out iron ore. And that iron ore we can then use to make steel. Uh, well, in a bit. This power, the amount of power we've got here should allow us to run a few things. And, ooh, remove you. That's more barbecue for the pile. But uh, the power we've got over here should allow us to run a proper refinement center, as in... Oh, wow. We haven't actually researched that yet, have we? God damn it. Ah, here we are. Smelting. Yes, we're going to need a proper metal refinery. Which reminds me, we should probably get some more water. Well, once this uh, building is complete, we'll deconstruct that water tank so we can get five tons of... Oh my god, there's so many germs in that. The system is working quite well, though. The toilets don't back up because of uh, their preferential flow, and we get plenty of oxygen over here. How much of that is germy, though? I've got to imagine some of the stuff coming out of there is going to be full of germs. 
Uh, food poisoning germs, thousands of them. But then they're dying horribly. Wait. Where? What's going on here? Do you have germs? No surface germs. Hmm. It keeps telling me there's germs, but then there's no germs. Ah, here we go. Water. Germs. Uh, dying on liquid and exposed to 139 rads, 100% data cycle. That's what's killing them off. Mmm, the joys of radiation. Hey, let's get this sorted, people. Well, this is going to need a bunch of rust and a bunch of salt. They should be along shortly. Uh, unfortunately, the side effects of this is it's going to produce some chlorine, but yeah, we, we kind of let the chlorine thing go. There's, there's some chlorine down here already. I'm not going to complain too much. Come on, what are you... Seriously, did you just put the rust in the bin but didn't bother sticking it into the deodorizer? You, you people are the worst. All right, we'll put you on a priority seven. They'll get around to that in a minute. It is cycle 91. We have 33,000 calories of meat in our in storage and we have plenty more meat about to hit the hit the fridges as well. Let's have a, a quick check on how we're doing on our uh, achievement attempt. Okay, so we've got 299,000 calories of meat consumed and we only have another 100,000 to go. Well, 100,300. So, assuming we want to knock this out in nine cycles, therefore, you know, we, we don't want to be leaving it till the last minute, we'd need to eat about 11,000 to 12,000 calories per cycle of meat. And I think we got that. We, we, we got to have got that. We've got 31,000s of barbecue already in the bank, so it's not like, mm, yeah, I think we're good. That was a little bit of a scramble there near the end. I was quite nervous for a while, but I think we're sort of covered now. With the sheer, quite, we did have to cover half the map in incubators. And thank God for all of this power generation. I'm not sure we could have run all of these on manual generators. We just don't have the labor. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, but I have run out of time again for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Good luck.